Frank, we're halfway through Sun and Fun. Hopefully we're not going to get rained out or tornadoed out or whatever else is coming in. We've been watching the radar and kind of going, yeek. So let's talk about safety in other ways. What are you doing here? What is it that brought you to design this piece of gear? And tell me exactly what it brings to the general aviation market. All right. So it's about 14 years ago I was a student pilot. And I was struggling to flare the plane to have a proper height and proper landing. And it took me quite some time and it took four instructors. I just couldn't judge the right height for flaring. Either I would be too high, 20, 30 foot high, and I think it's close enough, or I wouldn't flare at all. And I'm almost coming to hit the ground. So it scared everybody, and I just didn't have that right depth perception. And finally, I figured out that I have to have something. There might be a lot of people struggling with the same struggle that I have. So since then, I've been on a pursuit, and I finally got a breakthrough with the right type of lidar that gives me very accurate measurement when we are coming to land and also when we are trying to take off. So that's how it started. And then as I expanded into learning more about what are the other requirements, I learned that people want reminders, especially people with uh, retractable gear. They really like to have a reminder, check gear at 500 feet or right around that time. So they still have one minute left to put your gear down, their gear down and land safely. So in other words, they want a virtual instructor right next to them. Right, exactly. Virtual instructor, yeah. Smart. That, right. Uh, I mean, when I got trained on a Cirrus, I had a great instructor, and he would give me step by step as we come to land. Okay, uh, time for checklist, you know, hey, flaps, or check speed, you know, that kind of stuff. I said, wow. Jim, I really like all these things. I'm going to record your voice and play it when I come to land. And that's what I sold in another way in this device. What's it take to install this in the average Cessna? Yeah. Okay, it takes only about two to four hours. If it is part of your annual, it takes only two hours to install it. Uh, if it's installed by itself, maybe four or five hours. It's just the time it takes to run the wires from the wing all the way into the cockpit and we give you everything you need to complete your installation. The kit includes the wiring harness, the fuse, the switch, all the labels and stickers you need to complete the installation, and most importantly, a pre-cut inspection plate that will replace one of your plates under the wing or the empennage to install it. What's the certification basis for this? This is a NORSI certified. NORSI stands for Non-Required Safety Enhancing Equipment. It's not a required instrument and it's not a re equipment to replace any of your required instrument either. So you have to be, you have to understand the limitations of those, and so it will, it is meant to improve your, enhance your safety, and that's a way to look at it. It may fail sometimes, even though I personally don't believe that it can fail. There's no moving parts in it. It's a laser-based product. It work, it should work, 100% or 99.9% .9 of the time. But you have to remember that this is not your ultimate solution for a safe landing or a safe takeoff. You're still responsible for everything else. And so that's, that's in a nutshell. It's an advisory system. Correct. It's an advisory system. Correct. Yeah, that's another way to look at it. <laughs>